Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. What messages do you have for the collective when it comes to love and romance? What messages do you have for the collective? Okay, mature man or mature woman, emotionally mature, not playing games, know what he or she wants, mature for their age. All right. You have somebody here that's in this energy where they want to step up their game. This could be somebody new coming in. This could be your past person that feels like they had like a lobotomy and they're coming forward as a whole new version of them. This is somebody that is very focused and very fixated on doing the right thing. And this is somebody that is beginning to elevate spiritually despite how old they are or despite what they may be going through, right? Because you can be in your 40s or in your 50s and be extremely immature, or you could be 20 and you could be more mature than somebody in their 50s. Whatever it is here, I do feel like there's been a level of time that's passed since you very first met this person. And what you're gonna begin to understand is that the energy around your connection is changing, or you may feel an energy that's shifting almost in the atmosphere like you're waiting for the next shoe to drop. There's this um, place of almost anticipation. That's the energy that's coming through or that's the best way that I could describe whatever this person is. So I feel like especially with um, this mature man or woman playing chess, this is somebody that is playing um, chess, not checkers. I always like to say, um, you know, it's like they're playing hardball. Like their name is Chris Matthews. For those of you guys that remember back in the day, Chris Matthews used to have a show called Hardball. Obviously, I was a nerd and used to watch a lot of politics. Not anymore. But this person is very, very curious and very focused. It's like they're trying to determine their next move. They're trying to see, okay, if I take this step towards them, if I approach them, what could be the potential of what could happen? It's like this person is trying to calculate everything under the sun with the direction that your connection could go. What happens if it goes bad? What happens if they miss a step? What happens if this? It's like they're calculating for everything that could potentially come in and disrupt or dismantle this connection. All of a sudden, I feel like this person has really grown up. You may feel like your person is beginning to evolve or beginning to grow or beginning to see things in the manner that you do. And it's not necessarily them finally bending the knee to your viewpoint, but it's through a process of um, evolution, right? The higher you heal, the more you elevate, the more you gradually become into a grateful or thankful frequency, you'll notice that your person will elevate the same as well. So you have somebody here that's really, really thinking about reaching out to you, thinking about also how to make amends, because I feel like with this person, there's a lot of water under the bridge for some of you. This could even be a past life energy. So if you're just coming into contact with this person, you and this person are going to hit it off immediately because there's like this past life energy that's swirling. But it's a lot of water under the bridge. For others of you, this is your divine partner that you've been through the gauntlet with um, for a very long time. You may be in an energy where you're tired. It's like you feel very worn down and almost in an energy where you need to be replenished. So you may be very tired right now. You may be needing a lot of rest. It may be a very uncomfortable manic energy, which is kind of coming in here because there's this level of anticipation when it comes to this person. I also feel like um, whoever this energy is, if for those of you that do have um, social media, they're watching you very, very closely. We also have this jealous card that comes out. Um, people are going to be jealous of this connection. I feel like when you really do connect with your divine person, everybody around you is going to be able to identify or is going to be able to know what that energy is. Like there's something in particular about the energy between the two of you. And it's going to cause a lot of jealousy also, if you moved on or if you set a certain uh, tone with this person and you started entertaining or being open to 
dating other people. This person is also very, very jealous, which is making them kind of like, um, almost like sober up very quickly to this connection. But I do, I do, it's interesting that jealousy is here because there is somebody here that is relatively jealous. Hold on a second. I know that it's not time for our tarot, but what do we need to know about this jealous energy that's coming in? What do we need to know about this jealous energy? Seven of Wands. Yeah, somebody is jealous of who you are and of what you've accomplished. It's almost like they want to knock you down a couple of pegs. Um, be very aware of your energy and be very protective of your energy right now. Because I feel like there's somebody that's really, really upset about whatever type of move this mature man or this mature woman is going to be making towards you because it's not towards them. I'm also getting overwhelmingly that this person maybe had to stop talking to somebody in the process. Like this energy that's coming in as very jealous, very insecure. They're mad because whoever this person is, they cut all communication off to them and they're upset and they're blaming you for whatever is happening here with this person. Because this person has been avoiding them. And I do. I feel like there was some type of conversation recently. Within this last week. That your person. Whoever this person is. That's coming up in the reading. Whoever you're thinking about. That you're watching this reading for. They had to have some type of like. Coming to Jesus moment. With somebody in particular. About laying boundaries out. It could be for a mother or a father. It could be a family member. It could be um, a child or it could be somebody that they were romantically connected with, whether it was just an intimate connection, friends with benefits or a one night stand. It's something here with this energy where your person cut them out. So now there's like this hyper fixation or this hyper focus around you because they're feeling like you came in between this connection and you're the reason that this person is avoiding them and the funny thing about this person whoever this energy is that's jealous around you first of all i do feel like your person they wanted me to, to tell you your person is also jealous at how you're able to kind of move on and and give a appearance or a perception because it is a perception that you're okay. It's like your person is sitting there fixated and focused in a mess over you, even though they're not showing it. But for you, they feel like you don't necessarily even care. That's what's putting them in this place where they have to make the right moves at this time because they don't want to see you with anybody else. They don't. The idea of you with somebody else makes them sick because they have these deep feelings for you. And in the past, you know, they were dishonest in the past. You know, they were scared about what it could mean for the two of you guys coming together. But now they're beginning to understand that if they don't, if they don't figure it out now that they're going to lose you. So for a lot of you, your person is cutting out unnecessary energy, unnecessary people um, from their place. And I feel like there is a lot of frustration around you because they know it's because of you and your person is changing because of you. They Maybe your person didn't say it's because of the collective that I'm doing X, Y, and Z. But they noticed that ever since, you know, you came into the picture, there's been a definite change with inside of this person. Also too, you know, we are in Pisces season. So this is a very whimsical time frame right now. This is a time where your intuition may be very heightened. This is a time where your dreams may be crazy. Pay attention to your dreams and pay attention to what's going on around you. Because I feel like your person is either astro traveling to you or if you're dreaming of your person, your person is also dreaming of you as well. Like they're very much heavy, deep in thought. And the thing about your person is that it is consuming them until they make the right choice or until they come forward and do or say the right thing. Like there's something here that this person has been holding back for a period of time. Even if you and your person haven't been in communication for a period of time, um, it's still the same energy. 
there is this anxiety because they know that the longer that time progresses without them expressing their truth, their truth may be different than your truth, but it is still their truth. Sometimes we get confused because we want to narrate the story when it's like, calm down, Morgan Freeman. Okay, take a seat. Let, let, let the real narrator do it, right? Just enjoy the ride, you know, hop along the lazy river and float down. But this person is really going through it with you. And it's like they're in this energy where they have to figure it out. It's like, I have to figure it out. And they're no longer into um, this energy where maybe like they were very flighty. They were very in and out. Like they're very, very regretful for the things that they've put you through. And they're very, very regretful for the way that things have gone. Especially in this situation. Yeah, I just asked, what are they regretful for? And it's temperance and the Ten of Swords. See, this person had one foot in and one foot out this entire time or in the relationship. Like they couldn't make up their mind. They couldn't make up a decision. Part of the reason for that is that your person is emotionally imbalanced or there is some type of chemical issue, whether that is... Um, drinking, whether that's substances, whatever it may be. But your person is very regretful because they're realizing it didn't make them happy. They're realizing that they betrayed the one person that was meant to come in and meant to heal them and meant to transform them. And I feel like the thing that you don't see about your person right now is that they're really, really suffering with not making it right or they're really having a hard time processing the way that they were in the past with you. So if you are in union with your person, and I feel like more twins right now or more divine connections are coming into union right now because it's preparing for what's to come. And whatever is to come in the future as a whole, as the world, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have that union with your divine person because you're gonna need them. Whether it's certain life-changing events, whether it's catastrophic worldly events, whatever it is, you and your person, they're pushing a lot of the twin souls, whatever you guys want to call it together right now, because it's preparing. There's something about being prepared. So with your person right now, like I said, I feel like a lot more people are coming into union but even in coming into union, this person feels very regretful for what they've put you through, right? This roller coaster of emotions, this adrenaline rush where everything is amazing when you see them and then the moment you see them, then they run away, right? Then they'll come back around when the coast is clear, when they think the air has you know, settled or the dust has settled and then they wanna come back and say, hey, it's me, knock, knock, who's there? And you're over there like, not you, okay? Because where have you been? And who do you think you are walking right back in here trying to take my energy? But then you forgive them because you love them. Even though somebody's over there like, I'm not forgiving them. But yet here you are watching the reading, watching a love reading. If you're not in love with somebody, then why are you watching a love reading? Like, let, let, let's all take a minute really quick. You know, like sometimes, sometimes like the logic isn't logicking or it's like the let, like, you, you, the the life you want to live is not lifing okay like put your energy into what is important but your person is beginning to realize that the energy that they invested in other people things places finance money family whatever that it wasn't worth it and that they have this very regretful energy for the way that they've gone about things and the way that they've done things with you um, I also feel like too, sorry, this was um, about this deck, the Dating Oracle 2 by the Pretty Psyche. Um, for those of you guys that are always like, what deck are you using? You know, I'm not trying to gatekeep. I'm trying to spread the love. What else? What other messages do you have for the collective when it comes to this person? You turn me on so easily. Okay, so what you guys did not see Okay, is before I even started recording this reading, I was recording another reading and it was a very intense, um, 
a very intense energy. By the way, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it and it would mean the world to me. Also too, if you haven't, check out membership. It's kind of hard to find here on YouTube. So what I did is I created a link in the comment section. That's where you can find the extended, where to book a reading with me, and also how to join the membership program. And it's dope because we post daily readings and um, it's really creating a very beautiful family environment. All right, so your person's energy, it's like they're enamored by you. They're in this fantasy world. Pisces season is that Neptune energy, right? And in this Neptune type of energy, it's compassionate. It's forgiving. But in this compassionate energy, they're sitting here asking themselves how they could hurt somebody as beautiful as you. How could they turn their back on somebody like you that is nothing but nurturing and giving and almost like this angel. They're looking at you as this um, angelic uh, force that's been brought into their to their life. But as much as they view you as this angelic energy, you also have the ability to stimulate them mentally, emotionally, and also physically. Even if you and your person have not been completely intimate yet, the idea of what they can do to you or the idea of what they want to do to you is such a completely different energy. I also feel like too with your person, they're dealing with a lot of unnecessary drama right now. Right now and they're having a lot of disagreements with the people around them because they're not happy with where they are. Even if you and them are in connection, it's like they're still not happy with where they are and there's somebody here in their life that has something to say about the way that they're living or they, there's something here where your person feels like they have to be very strategical with the way that they move. Because again, a person is causing issues and there is some type of conflict and your person is worried about the conflict of other people, whether that's their family disapproving in the connection, whether it's issues at work or whether it is, you know, a crazy energy in the in the background that doesn't want to see the two of you together. Your person is worried about the drama that is to come with being with you. And I feel like, yeah, look, leaving the other party for those of you guys that were in kind of a um, a karmic situation with somebody, uh, they're leaving that person. They no longer want it. But the problem is them leaving this other energy, um, or this could also be them just cutting off other people. Them saying, I'm not interested in one night stands. I'm not interested in entertaining anybody in a romantic sense. If you wanna have a platonic relationship, great. But other than that, I'm not interested because I have my person. Like. This is somebody that knows exactly what they want from you and exactly how to obtain it. But they are leaving somebody and their opinion behind. And it is coming in here, causing a level of drama with inside of this connection. But the reality is this person is desiring you and this person loves you. I'm are in love with you, confessing their love, saying I love you for the first time, and they want to hear you tell them that you love them as well. They're desiring this. It's like this this is somebody that's desiring to have you love them, desiring for that level of intimacy. And I feel like with this person, they're having this major realization about how they're connected to you the way that the two of you are connected but i also feel like as well as that they're leaving this other party because they're actually in love with you and there's gonna be i'm gonna be honest though for some of you buckle up Better strap in, wear your seatbelt because this, this energy that they're leaving behind, this jealous energy, this drama king or drama queen or whoever, they're not going to make it easy for this person to move forward and they're not going to make it easy for this person to change. See, that's something that I feel like whoever you're dealing with is realizing and they're also realizing how this other party was lying. 
They were lying to them about you the entire time. Lying about who you were, lying about your intentions. This could even be a friend that was sitting there giving them bad advice, like don't deal with them. You know, they're only here for a good time, not a long time. They're dealing with such and such from walk and don't walk. Why are you, you know what I mean? It's like, they're beginning to realize that the people that they put above you or the people that they valued higher than you, which I'm not saying is right at all, okay? So I'm just giving you, I'm just channeling your message. What you do with your message is what you do with your message. But they're beginning to realize that this entire time that they were very defensive and very on guard with you, that they should have been on guard with the people around them. The people around them have impacted them in a very negative way and they're beginning to see the lies and they're beginning to realize this. That's why this person wants to come forward. That's why they wanna impress you because in the beginning, I feel like their intentions weren't 100% pure because they were listening to other people. You have somebody that cared a lot about what other people were thinking, how other people felt in the connection, in the situation. And by the way, when we do get into the tarot in a couple of minutes, I am going to ask about this drama energy. Because I feel like this person, it's like they want to do the things to impress you. They may be dressing different, changing their looks, um, you know, trying to do whatever, but they're also talking about you, saying good things about you to people because they're realizing that all this other energy around them, they were jealous of your connection. They are realizing that they were lying about the intentions that you had. And in reality, it's almost like that person that's so negative about everybody, but in reality, it's like the things that they're negative about or the things that they do, right? It's like that energy of, it's easy to call out the, flaw, the the faults in other people or it's easy to be negative towards other people when you yourself have those same issues that you have to work on. It's like they're realizing about this person that it was an over projection of who you are when no one really knew who you were or what your intentions were when it came to this person. So it's very interesting. And this person is in this energy where all of a sudden they want to spoil you. OK, they want to buy you something. They want to spend money on you. They want to treat you and they want to show you how much they love you. Money is does not equate to love, but this is somebody that wants to put their money where their mouth is. And they want to do more than the bare minimum. It's like this. This is somebody that wants to make sure that, you know, especially with this surprise and this love that they're falling in love with you and that you mean the world to them. Because this person was in an energy where they were self-sabotaging and they needed to be honest about whatever was going on here. Whatever was going on with, you know, themselves that they were self-sabotaging by listening to the opinions of other people. Remember what I said earlier? There is this anticipating energy where they are anticipating this communication or they're anticipating this love, this romantic surprise. For some of you, it's a birthday surprise. It's some sort of surprise that they have for you or that they want to give you to make up <laughs> for, uh, for the past. For some of you, you're like, you listen, it's a lot of making up to do, <laughs> right? Like, it's like, you put me through hell in a handbasket and now you want to come over here with that? You're going to have to do better than that. No, but... Also, I just think it steps in the right direction for your person to make amends, right? Sometimes the simplest gesture is the right gesture. And it's something that's coming from a very deep place with this person where they're not doing it to get something out of you. It's like they're doing it to set the scales right. They're doing it to make amends. They're doing it to show you the significance of you in their life. It's like, this person wants to be honest. And for a lot of you, it's like, I even get like this person wants to post you on social media or it's like they want people to know that the two of you are together. Because again, I feel like, you know, with this hidden feelings, okay, and lurking, I do not want you to know the romantic feelings I have for you. It's like they've really tried to hide their deep feelings or their deep intentions when it comes to you and instead they've been sitting here watching you peeping your social media watching you from afar watching you at work 
whatever it may be, it's like this person has hid it, hid their feelings and it's created this self-sabotaging energy. For some of you, they also want you to meet their friends, meet their family, talk to their friends. They're talking a lot about you, about the emotional chemistry between the two of you, which confuse them because I feel like with you, there's this level of comfortability where they feel like they can be themselves with you. They feel emotionally comfortable with you. They feel comfortable around you. It, it, it You don't, when they're around you, it feels safe. And they're beginning to realize that this entire time with the bad intentions, the people around them have the negative intentions where, you know, you were genuine the entire time. And I feel like they were confused by how good you were to them because let's be honest, I don't think that this person was good to you the way that you were to them. For a lot of you, you showed this person how you wanted to be loved and you did not mirror back the way they were treating you. So if they were just being somebody that was taking and not giving, you didn't do the same. You showed this person how to love and you showed this person how you wanted to be loved. So they're in this energy where they're really judging themselves. And they feel guilty because it's like you've had these genuine intentions the entire time. And it, it almost feels as if they've come in here and kind of messed up this energy. I'm trying to decide what deck to use. I picked up. Let's see. What do we need to know about the drama? What do we need to know about this drama that's coming in here with the collective and their person? This is a really interesting reading. It's a very intense reading. The devil. Maybe this is the right deck to use. By the way, this is the volume two. It is available on my website. So the link for that will be in the description. And it's dope, by the way. I don't know if you haven't known already, but it's pretty fire. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that they've had a lot of negative um, energy around them. A lot of lies, a lot of uh, temptation there's somebody here that's in a very obsessive energy, especially they're obsessing over who your person is because your person may be this emperor energy where they're in control. And it's like everybody I feel like is trying to get their attention or trying to understand what they're doing because whoever this other energy is, they know the significance of who your person is and your person may be somebody that is very inspirational um, very healing or whatever, but also to this person feels like they're losing control of your person because your person is having a different change of heart. Remember, like we talked about earlier, where all of a sudden this person is thinking different or they're acting different or they're moving differently. Even the certain things, the certain verbiage that they're using, it's a very enlightened. It's like your person is finally coming out of the cave ages, okay? They're no longer, you know, banging on rocks and they want to come forward and they want to like get out of the nomad and like put some clothes on instead of the cloth, you know, dangling. But it's because you've inspired this person. You've inspired this person to change. You've inspired this person to be their authentic self inside of the connection, and this is something where they are being guided. They are being guided away from the devil. But the star is illuminating to this person, to this emperor, who they can trust and who they can't. Because even if this emperor didn't trust a lot of people, even if your person didn't trust a lot of people, they still had people around them that was in this devil energy, but that's being illuminated. And these people, look at this, the world in the tower. Hello, can I come in? All major arcana coming out in the very beginning. I think that that's extremely significant inside of this connection. Wow. Because your person sees the things that were being done behind. I don't know if you could tell, but my light just started flickering out of nowhere. Let's see if you guys could see it. Nope, it stopped. That's weird. Right as I started talking about the devil, it's like the devil's like, don't talk about me. I don't want you to expose me. Well, too bad because you're the first one out. Come on down. Welcome to the party. Show them what they've won behind door number one, right? So this emperor, 
all of a sudden they have this clarity where they're realizing and, and to be honest with this clarity it's vindication for you because this entire time this devil energy was trying to mock or trying to portray themselves as the holy one or themselves as the rightful person that this emperor should be with when in reality that's not true. They were a wolf in sheep's clothing the entire time. So now this, whoever you're dealing with, your emperor or empress is now having this sense of illumination with who they're dealing with and how this energy around them only feeds into negativity. There is going to be some type of major, um, disp like something is breaking or something is crumbling. And this devil energy is ultimately what kept your person bound because it was not only a physical bind for some of them, whether it was a relationship, a child, a family, a mother, a community, whatever it may be, but it also was mentally binding to this person. Like whoever these energies were, they knew exactly what to say to your person in order to keep your person stagnant or stuck. Even if that's with tradition, this is not what you do. Tradition, your family, you're this, you're that. It's like there was a heavy emphasis and a heavy burden that was placed upon this emperor with a false sense of duty or a false sense of um, what is expected of them. Because it's almost like you're the leader. This person, it's like they thought that they were in control when in reality there was people behind the scenes that were pulling, pulling strings. But this tower energy, this tower energy coming in with the world, like things are getting ready to change. So if you have not seen any type of change in your connection or in your situation or in your relationship, it is only a matter of time. The devil is only in the playground for a period of time before the security comes and says, it's time for you to go, okay? And I feel like with this world, there is karma here, major karma for the way that things have gone major karma for this devil being exposed, major exposure, the tower hits, you know, your person is in regret because now they're seeing who, who is there for them and who is not. And this is a completion of a cycle and this sudden change that's caused this chaos that's made this, your person go into a place of regret and this sense of rele um, relevation that they're realizing that they tried to destroy things with you to stop them to transform. But now there's this purifying type of energy where your person knows the hard truth. They know what you were trying to tell them. That you were trying to warn them the entire time about this energy that was portraying to be something that they weren't. And this, and through this communication, you're going to receive some type of vindication on the knowledge that you've said to this person over and over and over again. It's, it's crazy the way that it's kind of coming out here. Because the reality is this, with the Sri Yantra, this is, um, it's, it's, it is a complex symbol, but it's used in Hindu Tantra, and it represents the union of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. You guys are meant to come together. And there is this level of divine assistance here that's coming in and helping your person see things for what they are. Helping your person see what is hidden. This is entities. This is your ancestors. This is angelic help. But it's all working towards the common goal of merging the divine masculine and the divine feminine together because the two of you are meant to be with one another. And what your person is beginning to realize is it's not what they see, but it's what they can't see. We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. And since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Your love for one another, that's something that can't be seen. That's something that's that's internal. That's something only the two of you can feel. That's why when they try to explain how they feel about you, people don't understand because it's not something that they can physically see. But they can physically see this devil now. They can physically see the truth. They can physically see that you're the star and that you were here to help break them from their prison that they've been locked into. And for some of them, it's been 10 or 20 years that they've been stuck in this prison with this devil. 
this that devil energy may be their mom it may be their dad it may be their family it may be their way of life or their way of thinking or this could be a mother or father of their child mm. but then we have the magician coming forward come on out the thing about the magician see how the, the devil looks like the bird and the magician has a bird on the chest. You're helping connect this person. Like you're connecting the dots for this person. You're showing them the realm between spiritual and material. You're showing them that they have the power. And that there is a purpose for the two of you to come together. And it's something that's divinely orchestrated between the two. And I feel like it's going to be really hard this next couple of weeks or even months for this person. It's going to be hard because they're going to see that the people that they entrusted or the people that they gave the most to, that those are the people that they're realizing were never there for them. For some of them, one of their friends or family is going to backstab them in a way that's unforgivable. Um, it's really kind of sad and interesting. See how the light's starting to flicker? So I know what I'm saying is right. Just be aware. So if you feel the energy is off, go inside, pray, ground your energy, meditate, whatever you need to do. All right, let's get into the extended and the 3D energy. It's weird how this light just starts flickering. It's never flickered the entire time. So now all of a sudden, how does this person view? And by the way, it is a heavy, it's, the energy is really weird. Like I, I, if you guys are not in the membership, you should because the membership video that I just posted today, I literally go into like this really strange download that I feel like it's funny. The light just got brighter. I wish I could show you guys. So you guys know I'm not crazy. Okay, let's let, let's. It's in the membership video though. The membership video that was posted today. All right, let's see. How does this person view the current romantic situation between them and the collective? How do they view their current romantic situation? The star card. Look, the star card has, it doesn't matter what deck it's in. Look, the star is here to stay. So it's crazy because the star is a level of hope and it's a level of healing, but also too, it's this optimistic energy for what's to come. This is significant. There may be something very significant about 317 coming up or 117 maybe, it, maybe um, or 217 may have been a very significant time, but there's a lot that's changing here. And um, there's also like, I just keep getting drastic change. There's something changing. Okay. How do they view themselves in the connection between the, between them and the collective? How do they view themselves, their role in the connection? King of swords, heavy Aquarius energy. Because now all of a sudden they're seeing things for what it is. And now I kind of like them in this Aquarius energy. Not that I feel like Aquarius energy could be a bit ruthful or ruthless and a bit cutthroat. However, Aquarius is know what's going on before it's even popular or before it's even cool. It's like the Aquarius already knows. Aquarius is counting everything. The Aquarius knows when something weird is going on. Your person is using a sense of insight right now that they haven't been able to do before. So they're in a very logical state, but also this very authoritative state, which I'm curious. And I don't feel like it's because of you. Wow. Look at this. That's how they view you. I'm going to put it back. How do they view the collective? It was justice and the fool. They want to make amends. How do they view the collective? I'm really curious about this extended. How do they view the extent? How do they not the extended? How do they view the collective? How does this person view the collective in this connection? How do they view the collective? in this connection with them five of pentacles for some of you they're not talking six of swords there we go nine of wands they know that you're waiting for them waiting for them to get their head out of their kooka waiting for them to make a good decision and what is blocking this connection what's a block here for these two romantically indecisiveness they have to make a decision now positive no positive news is this they had a level of self-doubt this could be somebody that was always the victim, okay? But 
it's changing because you have this indecisive energy. Guess what? The King of Swords makes a decision and they don't care whose feelings they hurt. Grandma, Papa, fucking, oh, whoops. Whoever from walk and don't walk. Sorry, I just dropped an F-bomb. My ADHD is at like a threat level red right now. But they're they're in a completely like different energy where they don't care their feelings, their emotions. They're gonna do whatever is right for them. Okay, before we continue, we have four more cards to pull. All of this is going to be available in the extended and the extended is available on Vimeo and the information for that will be in the comment section. It's lit. Okay. We take a deep dive into your person's psyche and we figure out the way that they think. See, if you know the way that they think, one, it eases your anxiety and two, you kind of know what's coming and you know what's ahead. Okay. So I just want to throw that out there. All right, let's keep going. What is this person thinking about heavily? What's heavily on their mind? When it comes to this, I'm really excited for this reading. The Three of Swords. Yeah, they're in regret for the way that they did things with you. I don't know what happened. I don't know what was said. But there's some type of major judgment that this person is in over the way that they treated you. What is their next action towards the collective? Ooh. Oh, okay. Look at this, the Hierophant. There's a confession here. Hopefully it's not Usher's confessions, but it's a confession. Nonetheless, you see how the light begins to flicker? There it goes again. There's a confession. For some of you, there is some crazy confession that is coming. It is coming. All right, let's see. What is this person, what, what are they, um, what is their intuition telling them about the collective? Because I always want to know, their logic says one thing, but what is their intuition telling them? Usually there'll be two separate things. What is their intuition telling them about the collective? The Ten of Wands. They have to walk away from something in order to have a new start or a new beginning with you. They can't have their cake and eat it too. It doesn't work like that. And I think that that's something that this person is beginning to acknowledge or even beginning... Um, to realize okay hold on one second let me grab this other dick bear with me okay what is what is the collective's advice in this connection downloads i'm telling you the more you hold space that's open the more source will be able to run through you're receiving a lot of downloads right now pertaining to your situation and they're trying to tell you something about being confident in your, you see how it just got brighter? You need to be more confident, be proud of who you are and what you have to offer because there's some type of brand new chapter that's coming. So this is your reading. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate you. For those of you guys that are coming over to Vimeo, simply click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you guys can purchase the extended um if this reading resonates i would definitely check out the extended it's like its own personal mini read and it's really 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 deep um aside from that if you guys want to book a personal reading or buy a manifestation candle or any of the neon awakening card decks that we use today all of that information will be in the description and with that being said i love you guys so much Thank you for all of your love and support. It means the world to me. And just to let you guys know, members that are currently um, signed up, I am going to be doing your Zodiac read tomorrow. So it will be dropping tomorrow morning. So keep your eyes open and peeled for that. All right. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.